I think it's going flat again. Good morning everyone, welcome to the vlog. I woke up at about 10 to 5 this morning to a knocking noise in the wall there. There's like a, a constant knock sort of down underneath the floor or in the wall somewhere. And it was going on all last night. I couldn't get to sleep. I was trying to get... I eventually got to sleep, but it was pretty difficult at around 10 o'clock. I just put on some guided meditation and I listened to one of the Honest Guy's videos. I'll have a link down below for that video. It's like an 18-minute guided meditation. It's a really good introductory video to meditation if you want to check it out. It just helps me get to sleep at night and clears the mind and just... Because I always have so many ideas running through my mind when I'm trying to sleep. And sometimes I can't get to sleep. And a guided meditation just helps to forget about that in the present and helps you get to sleep. So I use that. I'll have a link below for that. Also at 6 o'clock I went out for a morning run and I must have just missed the rain. It is pouring down right now. I'm about to head out for a run. It is still pitch black outside. And I'm pretty cold and I'm inside in a warm house. So it's going to be pretty cold out there. Okay, so run is done. It is very dark here, but I did another 3k effort 3.2 k's at 4 minutes 3 seconds average kilometer pace trending faster than my previous effort So not bad if you're on Strava follow me on there. My name is just Cody Orgel on Strava So dark. I like being up so early before everyone else and getting a nice run done for the day kind of makes me feel good but at the moment, I am working on shipping out some stuff that I sold on eBay. Today is Monday. What I think one of the problems are going to be in regards to this inventory storage system is it's going to be hard for me to show you the items that I sold when they're already packaged up. So I can't physically show you the item as it's sold. But what I'll do is put a screenshot up of each item that is already packed up. Or I'll just quickly show you my computer screen as I'm sending out the items. So item number one is... A pair of Nike free runs. They just sold for like 10 bucks. They were odd shoes. So one shoe was an eight and a half, and the other one was a nine. So one's slightly bigger than the other. For 28.50 is a PS1 game. This Toy Story 2 Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. I paid around four dollars for that one. And I'm gonna send this out in a CD box at Oz Post. Two items that sold was a combined postage deal from the same customer. It was two sweaters, a color bray sweater, sort of cardigan. These are sort of both sort of cardigan style, 15. And then also a Fred Perry one. This one was 28. So a total of about 50 bucks for the two of them. For $22 was this Fred Perry long sleeve button front shirt. Let's see if I can get a little bit of tag there for you. Another sale was this Emaru Kuji style sweater sold for $90. This one's packed up already, so I can't show you that. But again, it will be on the screen. Pretty cool sale there. Another button front shirt is the good old RM Williams branded long sleeve in a nice extra extra large. For 45 bucks was these brand new tags G Star Raw. For 50 bucks was this t-shirt. It's the Givenchy Paris t-shirt. I'm not sure how you pronounce that brand, but it is one of the luxury brands, kind of like your Supreme, Bape, Gucci, and all those other brands like that. This is kind of like that. So that's why it sold for like 50 bucks. I probably could have got more, but it was a quick sale. It sold within the 24 hours of listing it. Again, another combined postage job with these Nike Airs. Got these ones here, and also the similar model in a different color. They're about 30 bucks a piece. They used to get a lot more. Maybe you can still get like 50 plus for them. But these ones aren't in the best of condition. So that's probably why. Then we have some Deco Curo Italian shoes. The Vero Curio. I don't even know how you pronounce yo. <laughs> these are like a size 44s. I sold these without any laces for 40 bucks. I was repping these for quite a while. These Nikes. Nike Free 4.0 Flyknits in the blue, but it is time to see them go. I sold these for 55 bucks. Last item going out is an Earth, the Radar CS35, with no accessories, just the gun itself. This one sold for 25 bucks, just for the gun. Making a stop at the post office. I am at the front of it right now. Got the box in the back. I managed to fill up a, a pretty large cardboard box full of stuff, plus an Earth gun, which is separate. It's a bigger parcel. Let's get him out. So today, guys, I'm planning to go 
goes thrifting the other side of Melbourne, if that makes any sense. Like, if you're in the city of Melbourne, it is east 80 k's, that's where I live. And then I'm going further east even more. I don't normally go this way, I only go towards the city because there's so much opportunity with the op shops. There's a plentiful amount of op shops towards the city. And where I am, it's kind of a little bit too rural and there's not that many. I'm heading out this way to like Sale is probably as far as I'm gonna go, like Barnsdale, around that area. So I'm hitting up all of them like along that way today. So let's see how we go. I haven't hit up these op shops in a very long time and I've been doing a lot of research last night I'm always trying to up my game and learn new categories to sell in. Still in clothing, but subcategories like I normally sell shirts, polos, tees, and jeans and stuff, and shoes, all in men's. But I have been neglecting shorts. I've been neglecting. S I, and I'm also just trying to educate myself with new brands that have sort of come about uh, in the past year or so. Because there's always new brands to learn. So I've just been researching in the comps on eBay for that and the shorts are really surprised how much shorts can sell for if you pick up the right ones. So I just got out of the first thrift for today and I picked up some pretty sweet items. However, I didn't have enough cash on me and they are a cash only thrift store. So I'm driving for like 10 k's down the road in the direction that I'm supposed to be heading for other op shops to get some cash from the ATM because I didn't have the ATM in that town. And I'm gonna make my way back, pick up those items, and then be on my way back this way again. Okay, guys, so I finally went back to the thrift and I managed to get the items. The lady didn't sell them on me. I took quite a long time than she probably expected me to take. She thought I was just going around the corner to the ATM, but I had to go to the other town to get some money. But I got the money and I paid her, and I have an Alvi bag sitting right here, chockers full of thrifted items that. At a minimum, I'm going to get 100 for. That's if I sell each item for 20 bucks each, but I'm definitely sure there's a few items there that, especially an NHL jersey, which I believe is ice hockey jersey. I don't even know what the team is, but, but I know they're good sellers, and I haven't looked it up. That's a really cool thing about thrifting too. I like to just pick up items sometimes, not looking them up in store, so it keeps that sort of fire burning inside because I just don't know how much I'm going to get for it. But what I think I might do is show you all the stuff that I pick up today when I get home. But for now, I'm just going to keep thrifting and pick up some more stuff. Doing my deed for the day, guys. I was about to go into the Vinnies that's here beside me. And a lady just walked up to me and she said if I could help her to jumpstart her car because it must have went flat. So I'm about to head there now to do that for her. Give it a jump start. She's got leads, so going to help someone out for the day. Yay! Guys, I just did it. I helped them out. I didn't get to film it, though. But that is them across the road there in that white car with the rims. It's really hard to see with the with the water. And I think they're checking me out. But apparently the dude was saying like there's something wrong with like the alternator in the car or something. And his uh, lead setup was really bizarre. I think it's gone flat again. He's got the bonnet open again. He just closed it. No, he's closing it again. He's shaking his head like, yeah, the bloke helped me. He's a legend. You. Anyway, the end of the jumper leads were like wire. They weren't like uh, clamp things. He just tapped them on there and boom, Bob's your uncle. So it's good to help someone for the day. Now let's get into this Vinnie's. Let's get thrifting. Deja vu. He actually stalled it and they asked me to help him out again. So let's head over there and do it again. <laughs> a bit rough right buddy <laughs> just went to a few more thrifts but getting owned by some young children some young hustlers are hitting up all the op shops the competition is real there's like a small little school of like maybe third graders or probably like fifth graders or something and they're just going to all the thrift stores that i go to young hustlers in the making i think they're just buying stuff just for competition like who can buy an item 
they just like spending their money just to spend it like as soon as this kid walked in he's like can I buy that silver camera and I'm like dude I was gonna buy that He's gonna sell it on eBay for 50 bucks. So then I looked at it and it's like a real dodgy camera. So maybe they gotta watch the Cody Ogle YouTube channel and learn a few pointers. So I've been going at it pretty hardcore. It is about 2.13. Just been thrifting away for a few hours now. I've got a bag here. I've got a box full of stuff here. And also a bag up the back there as well. I did get out of one thrift and I picked up, you could say a jackpot item. It is a vintage t-shirt. I paid $1.50 for it. It's an ACDC 1990-1991 tour t-shirt. Made in Australia. Vintage. It is 27 years old. It is 7 years older than me. This shirt is pretty remarkable. I haven't looked up much research on it. I just quickly looked at it at Etsy. Because when I flicked through and I came across it, I was like ACDC plus vintage. Check for so hopefully it turns out good but I think I saw a similar shirt let me show you the shirt here it is ACDC the Razor's Edge World Tour 1990 1991 live it is a size large made in Australia I looked up Etsy very quickly and I think I came across one that looks similar and I think they were asking 180 Australian dollars for it I'm at the front of the Vinnies right here I'm about to hop into that one. Like, check this out, guys. It so happens to be probably the most expensive t-shirt of ACDC on Etsy. And it's a very similar one to what I got. Oh, this one's much better. It has a back print as well. Mine doesn't. But they're asking 195 I could probably put 150 on it. That's just amazing. $1.50 to 150 That's pretty cool. I'll keep you guys posted and let you know if I sell this thing pretty sick I think I did pretty well today I'm not sure how much potential profit I picked up today however it was a very good day I'm gonna head back home and organize it and get it all up for sale so I'll see you guys back home so I made it back home as you can see I'm in the office I've got a box full of stuff that I picked up today now, I want to go through it with you and share with you guys what I picked up today. I guess you guys like these type of videos where I show you like what I pick up and stuff. So I think I might just keep doing it. And plus, it's pretty cool content if you're a reseller as well. So here it is. It's a box full, practically full of new inventory that I got today. But I think that is about it for the haul. Also, that strange noise has come back again. It's right here in the corner. Let's see if you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it, as soon as I tried demonstrating the sound, the heater came on. Hopefully that noise doesn't distract me tonight and I can get to sleep. But I'm going to finish taking the photos for these and get my listings up. I managed. Let me go through the totals with you and share the potential profit or potential sales I make from all this stuff. So I picked up a total of 14 items today. I paid $53.50 and the total resale value of everything before fees, eBay fees, PayPal fees, and all that stuff is $732.98. So not a bad day at the thrift. Obviously that's not gonna all sell today and it's not gonna be in my pocket and that's not profit as well. Have in mind that I'll take 15% or whatever of that off for fees and stuff, but just to give you a ballpark figure. But I think that's about it for now. I'm probably gonna do a bit more work. I'm not sure what I'm planning for tomorrow, but thank you guys for following me along for today. Hopefully this vlog doesn't turn out to be too long, but I wanna say thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up and also put a comment down below as well. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Goodbye.